Hey guys, it's Halo Slate. This is how to get an easy mothership. First off, I want to say thank you guys for watching and please take the time to leave some comments and like the video below and possibly even subscribe. Alright, for how to get a mothership, you need to do your create class. It needs to be stuff that you're comfortable with in terms of perks, uh, attachments, secondaries, primaries, and all of that. You need those kinds of things, but you do need any up. Any up is a must because it's going to allow you to get that little push overwards. And I would also have to say hardline because you're going to get certain kill streaks that are going to make it easy to obtain. And hardline is going to allow you to switch out your your care package. Also, you want Seraph. Seraph is going to give you combat focus, and she's going to allow you to be able to get extra points, double your amount of points for whatever it is items you obtain and kills and stuff like that to get you closer. But for your score streaks, what you want to do is you want Care Package, and then Talon or Wraith, and then Mothership. The reason for that being is they're 500 or 600 points in between each other. That allows you to get pretty much really easily the next streak over because you only need five five kills or if you're playing something like domination and you capture a flag you only need to capture the flag either uh, on domination maybe two times or just one time and then to get like three kills or whatever it, it allows you to get closer to the next streak without having to sweat it out and be like oh I need to get six or seven hundred extra points so it, it makes it smoother for the transition over to the next streak so that you're not just so uh, worn out trying to get to the next one and, and then you're terrified to try and get this mothership. Now another thing is how you play. You can play any style you want. If you're most comfortable running around and you think you can stay alive and, and really dominate, then dominate that map how you feel the best. But if you don't feel like you can do that and you really want this mothership, you maybe want to stay a little bit conservative and sit off to the side and maybe cut off uh, cut off the enemy from specific sides, whatever side your team's not holding off, or, or, or do whatever your play style is. It's really It's really hard to say in terms of killing and stuff like that how you would necessarily get this because you need to stay alive so you need to know you what you're most comfortable with in terms of your play style so that you can get these kills without dying in between with your kill streaks I want to make this very clear I had to use a talon and there's nothing wrong with using a talon but if you want to get these mothership a lot easier it's probably better to go with a wraith the reason for that is is when a, we have a wraith, all you have to do is send it out. You don't have to sit down and and let it you know let it hover with you and get the kills for you. Or you can act, you know you, with a talon you control it and it and it can kind of screw you over because you have to lay stationary in a place and then possibly get killed because your body's unprotected. And if your team's not doing very well at all then your team will get wiped out and you won't have no protection and they'll wipe you out before you even get the mothership so it's usually better to get a wraith because then at that point you can run around and sneak around and hide or either run and jump out there and fight along with the wraith to get those kills it just really depends on your play style what you prefer and how you feel most comfortable talons on in my personal opinion are great but they're horrible for if you just let them run with you because if you have them run with you all they're going to do for you is if you have someone that has blind eye they're not going to shoot at them and if you're expecting your your talent to get the kill for you to help you or assist you with that kill they're not going to do it because they don't see that person and it it hinders you a little bit and makes the situation a little scary because you want to be on top of your game to get this mothership if you're really trying that hard to get this mothership now I'm, it, I don't think it's it's it can be too hard especially with all the basics of any up combat focus and having a care package and having hardline on because if you have hardline you can switch out your care package now see I got lucky and got a wraith I just so happened to get lucky out of that care package and get a wraith but it's the care packages can be vital to what you're doing so like your combat focus if you got a UAV and for your for whatever it is you got out of the care package, say you don't have hardline, or if you did have hardline, it switched to a, to a counter or a just a regular UAV. 
If it does, you can put counter, you can put combat focus on, and it gives you double the amount of points you're gonna get for norm for what you would normally get, and that's gonna help you get to your goal faster. So you try and run combat focus either with or along your kill streaks, whatever they may be or whatever you put out, because it's gonna help you get to that mothership even faster, and it's gonna allow you to be able to do what you need to do. So that you can just tear up the competition and not even worry about it. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that are trying to get the different little uh, calling cards and stuff like that for like mothership or kill streaks and stuff like that. And this right here is a good, honest, solid way to get an easy mothership. So I called my mothership out. I actually caught. I actually when I was getting kills with the talent. I don't know if you heard it or not. It did say that I got it, but. That just so happened to be by pure luck. I got enough kills and, and stuff like that to be able to get it. Because normally you don't get very many points for the kills you get with your streaks. Which is why combat focus is so important. Because you get more points with combat focus active. So it's very important to have that. Now as you see when you do get the mothership. If you haven't used it or if you have... Um, used it before you have seen it before there's two assisted um passenger seats two people can get into the into a turret on both sides and shoot and they just have to shoot they just have to hold square as soon as they hear the calling for for the mothership um with the mothership you can move it uh move the location with L1 as you can see I'm pretty sure you guys can see the buttons on the below which is really important because if you haven't had one yet and, you, and it takes a minute to figure out how to use it it's really important to know how to use it as well L1 allows you to move I was actually in a decent spot I didn't really have to worry about it at all with in terms of where I wanted to move so I was fine with it being right where it was and I lucked out and got another and got a Cerebus for this care package Honestly, if I had more time in this round, I probably could have had two motherships, but it didn't end up being that way, which is not a big deal. Again, if this is if this video has been helpful to you guys and you guys want to see more how-to videos and either to obtain certain streaks or whatever it is, please feel free to leave me a comment below on how on how well you like this video or if you don't like this video, please let me know so that way I can do better the next time. I would like to have some input and feedback from you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and please come back to my channel and feel free to watch more videos just like these. Thank you so much.